anything I said in this position would be lovely because I am in a lovely place. Lovely place in life. A lovely place on earth. My independence comes from relying upon my flesh and blood first and money second. So I take a, a disability pension for wanting to live on my family roots. I notice that people who, who don't have a lot of time to themselves generally will prey upon my time and energy. In other words, a bit draining because they're not very well rooted. It's one of the def great deficiencies of organized labor is that it uproots people too much. Right? It's not that being uprooted or stretching your legs and all that kind of stuff is a bad idea, but there's an uprootedness to the world. And I noticed this very acutely because I spend so much time rooting. And uh, when I talk to people who have their forms of distress in their life, I notice that they, they feed off of me a little bit because my roots are strong and growing stronger all the time. And uh, uh, it's a good tree, my flesh and blood. And uh, so I draw, like, say, a $1,000 a month pension. It's just basically uh, a place marker for the billions of dollars assigned to the flesh and blood of man per person. Um, so I, I get that from my flesh and blood. Believe me, my flesh and blood has paid dearly for it. And then I can spend my time accruing the real riches, which is the riches of listening to my flesh and blood. The real stories that live there, and they're great stories. If you want to really enjoy life, you have to give voice to the story of your flesh and blood. And nobody ever tells you that. I have good roots, and I live fairly independently, in so much as one can, or should, on my roots. You know, I'm as, as little to do with the system as I can, so the money I get just goes on food and shelter. And uh, it's not the only way to live. Um, but I think any way of life where someone can say, you know, I, I like it, it's okay, might be of interest to some people. Right. And of course, anyone who's failed to feel the insurmountable powers of shame that society heaps on anyone who doesn't want to, quote-unquote, work for a living, um, in a sense sort of has to have some kind of disability. Um, and uh, I enjoy the irony, and I live in the sanctity and the sanctuary of the world that, that invariably um, forces me into, pleasantly so. The uh, prevailing currents of my life, if you will, have had their way with me for a good many years and kept me in good stead. It's a good place. We've got some rain coming, and I'm going to get moving. That's rain. <laughs>